Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I got a Ozark Trail knife to show you today. This was a impulse buy by my son. He bought this, cost him like eight bucks. He saw it on the shelf, so he grabbed it, brought it over to me. Um, I opened it. He he didn't open it. Um, but yeah, kind of kind of cool knife. I mean. This is an eight dollar Walmart Ozark Trail knife. Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, there's one one thing on this that's totally weird. I've never seen before. But yeah, I mean, comes in the box. Well, look at the box a little bit. It says assisted opening knife, stainless steel blade, aluminum handle, spring assist open. Um, I don't know, there's a 17 up there, that might mean something to Walmart, and the sticker says OT, Assisted Open Knife, Case 6312, well, that's probably the model number, and it comes in that box, comes in this little plastic tray, so check that out, pretty cool, I like the colors, the blue and the orange pivot collar. Little, I like that combination. Denver Broncos. That's my football team. Blue and orange. And um, yeah. Kind of cool little knife. For 8 bucks. Stainless steel frame lock. Says aluminum. Um, I don't think it's aluminum. I think it's stainless steel kind of on the heavy side but yeah other than that it's got a deep carry pocket clip works okay I had it in my pocket you don't have a lot of ramp right there to get it started but it works kind of long um, fit and finish closed like this not great not bad um, the blue's cool color. There's imperfections in the in it, you know, there's a couple of scratches and dings and yeah, it's just not it's not great. Um has this this is the weird part. Has this flipper tab, which we'll get to it. Got gotta talk about that in a minute. But it's got thumb studs, thing rockets open. Said it's spring assisted, but it's got a cool Warncliffe blade on this. It's hollow grind, ground, um, stone wash finish, and the stone wash finish is not, not bad. It looks good. Um, yeah, pretty awesome blade shape. It's got they got jimping up here, doesn't do much, and yeah, that flipper tab that is weird, but. You know, spring assisted. It's got a heavy duty spring, man. This starts starts right here. Then it's biased to close right about there. Right about there. Right about where my finger is. Now Okay, so let's do a little test test cuts. A piece of paper. I have not cut anything with this. Let's see. Ah, uh, paper. Oh, you get the right angle. Once you get it started. Not, not terrible. It's not, it's not dull. Feels like it has a decent edge. I don't feel a burr or anything, so that's good. Um, blade grind doesn't look too bad. Pretty equal all the way down. This, they're not quite even. Got less of a bubble right here and. This side and this side, I see little P 
pieces of paper stuck to it. Um, cardboard, let's see, this thing actually cut cardboard. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. I probably have to sharpen it now. I cut cardboard three times. Um, because don't know what kind of steel it is. Some kind of mystery steel. I have no clue what, what it could be. Um, but right now, it has a working edge on it. Not too bad. Nice warm cliff blade. Pretty cool. I think the whole thing's kind of cool looking. No doubt for eight bucks. Now, let's talk about this flipper tab. This is weird. Um, it's a strange angle. So I'm trying to flip it. I cannot flip it. Um, you can't flip it. We have to do, you have to just push that in until the spring takes over. Um, that's not hard. I mean, it's weird. So you do a push button, but you just, you got to push that in. Now, well, this is where it's totally weird. The flipper tab doesn't come out on this side. It's right there. That thing is not attached. That's not part of the blade. You can see. It's still in there. Now, now it's starting to come out. There it is. And like I said, it's not part, it's not a tab on the blade. There's a pivot pin right there where this thing, I guess I have to do it like this, partially close it, and right there. That's just a little lever. There's a pivot pin right there, a pivot sign, and as you bring it closed, That pops out so I've never seen that before maybe you have um, but that is that is so weird I you know I just I've never seen it I've handled hundreds of knives and I've never I've watched probably a thousand videos on knives that I've never seen anybody point anything like that out so that is pretty neat so there's no tab sticking out down here, so you have no finger guard really, but you know, you get a pretty good grip. I get a full four finger grip on it. But yeah, dimensions, I don't even know. I don't know how big this thing is. One, two, three. You got about a three inch blade, just a touch over three inch. Um, cutting edge, one, two, Two and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths cutting edge. Got a sharpening choil. And tell you the truth, they didn't do too bad on that. It's off the plunge grind. Um, you probably get a couple of sharpenings before you get up into the plunge grind and get the smile going. So that's that's remarkable. Some more expensive knives they still can't get that right. Um yeah, so handle length <laughs> it's one, two, three, four and four and a quarter. Yeah, I get good grip. You can actually choke up a little bit if you're careful. Um overall length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven and a quarter overall length. Blade stock, blade thickness is 0 0.10. And it is, it is a hollow grind. 
handle thickness 0 0.38 so it's actually pretty thin um, it's not quite as thin as the Ontario Epoch 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 but it's, it's pretty close it's pretty close um, size comparison you know to that is I have it out this is <clears throat> you know remember eight dollar knife made in China sold at Walmart Ozark trail brand mystery steel um, <sighs> not bad for the money not bad for the money this thing weighs No, not as heavy as I thought. 3.4 ounces. Not horrible. Feels feels heavier. But yeah, that flipper tab is weird. Um, never seen anything like it. Blade centering on this thing is not too bad. It's off to the lock, lock side a little bit. Um, eight bucks. Well, what can what can you? How much can you complain for eight dollars? Not my cup of tea. Now, the knife. I like that blade shape. I like Warren Cliff blades. Is that perfectly straight? Um, that's got a little belly to it. That's probably not the best thing. Yeah. Well, there's a little belly to it. It's not perfectly flat or straight. Um, but I like warm cliff blades. Handle. Handle looks okay. I like that design. Good ergos. I don't feel that pocket clip. That's that's a non-issue. No, no hot spots at all. Everything's nice and chamfered. No sharp edges. Does have a backspacer. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty okay for an eight dollar knife. Now I don't. Do I have it? Guess what I got in my pocket today? I got the Ozark Trail shaft lock um only because i saw a video on youtube about this i'm like i'm going to carry that today so size comparisons with uh what is it uh 6312 to the shaft lock same thing mystery steel if if it's the same steel, this thing will not stay sharp very long. This does not stay sharp very long. In fact, I just sharpened it up not too long ago. Um, you know, this was a $6 knife when they were available. FRN plastic. I don't even know if it's FRN. It could be pla just plain plastic. Scales. Um, mystery steel. It wasn't even ground. This is actually the edge is ground better than this was. Feel about the same. I'm not going to weigh them. Um, deep carry pocket clips. Both of them. They're different. Um, but yeah. Six dollars for Ozark Trail shaft lock. Crossbar lock. Not great action on this. Of course, this is spring assisted. That just that whips out there so fast. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. I just want to get this video done um, so he can have this. And he's going to use it as a beater. And I'm telling you, I'll probably have it back in two weeks. It'll be duller in a spoon and I'll be sharpening it for him. But yeah. 
If you're looking for a cheap beer, eight bucks, Walmart, Ozark Trail, I, it's not half bad. Um, I guess that'll do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And until next video, bye.